has been incredibly stressful for college students as well. Many of them don't qualify for unemployment assistance, but there is federal money set aside in one of those stimulus bills specifically for students. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers talked with students who are hoping to get some of that money. She's live now at Texas Southern University with more. Brittany? Now, Chris, money from the CARES Act is meant to help out uh, college students who are eligible, who may be struggling financially because of the COVID-19 pandemic. As you mentioned, I spoke with quite a few of them today, and they tell me that their world has been turned upside down. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee says that she wants that, that funds to get into the hands of students faster. Once COVID hit, it was just... Uh a hurricane that just washed everything away. I was impacted devastatedly because I have to leave campus. Students from different universities and colleges across Texas all impacted by COVID-19. Some say they lost part-time jobs and others like Tatiana Battle were forced to leave campus and then move home out of state. Things have just been turned upside down completely from a financial aspect to just being a student and adjusting to online classes. The CARES Act was authorized by the U.S. Department of Education, money intended to help pay expenses related to disruption of school operations due to the virus. Yesterday, Kanaya Burley says she applied online. It's just been really a struggle in order to turn my work in and find other ways in order for me to be academically successful for this. She says the application process at Texas Southern University was streamlined, but that hasn't been the case everywhere, and many students across the state or scrambling to figure out what happens next. I don't want a stop sign to be placed uh, in front of anyone that's seeking an education. The other issue, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee says, is that TSU qualified for $11.79 million under the CARES Act and has only received $5.89 million. She says students everywhere need the federal funds now, and she says the process needs to be streamlined. Move quickly to get these funds to these various institutions because our students need those dollars. For many students, all they can do now is wait. And so under the CARES Act, some of the eligible reasons that students would be able to apply if they were struggling financially would be for food, housing, health care, or even child care that may have been disrupted due to this pandemic. Reporting live near Texas Southern University's campus, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.